guys, so today I have this Journey Girls doll and I bought her recently because they had a sale at my local toy store and the reason why I did buy a Journey Girls doll is because they had a bunch of outfits there except I didn't know whether they would fit 18 inch dolls not 18 inch dolls, American Girl dolls in particular and before I started buying all the outfits I wanted to make sure they fit and also I wanted to see if AG items fit the Journey Girl dolls so I'm just going to be opening her up and showing you who I got and what she looks like. So first off, you can see her name tag is over there and she is Kyla and she's from the Journey Girls collection. And on the back here shows all of the dolls you can get. My favorite will have to be these three except they didn't have these two at the store. So I got this one instead. And as I said before, her name is Kyla and I'm just gonna open her up now. Here's Kyla, I finally got her out of the box. Firstly, I'm just going to read her little blurb that she comes with. So it says, Kyla. Kyla is an amazing artist who loves to share her creative inspiration with all of her friends. So she's the artsy one. So here she is, her hair's just tied back with three little hair ties. And she's so pretty. I'm going to be getting Samantha, who is also known as Penelope. And I'll be just doing comparison between an AG doll compared to a Journey Girl doll. So I have Kyla and Penelope here to show you guys and I was just joking because it was really funny because her hair looks like she just came out of the shower. Her hair is a little bit cold and it's really wispy. Anyway, so here I have Penelope on the other side there and I'm just going to do a quick comparison. So starting from the face, Kyla's face is a lot longer than Samantha's. You can get different face models with American Girl except hers is definitely a lot larger than American Girl doll faces. and a lot longer and then as for their eyes she doesn't blink so her eyes just stay like that and Samantha's as you know American Girl dolls blink when you lie them down their eyes close and then the mouth she has teeth and she doesn't and her lips are much fuller than American Girl dolls meaning like they're a lot bigger um, American Girl dolls have like smaller lips and she has a pointer chin and she doesn't really. As for the eyebrows, she has much more spacing in the eyebrows. And I know you can get lined eyebrows and feathered eyebrows, but as for feathered eyebrows, hers is much more spaced out than American Girl dolls. And ears. American Girl doll ears are a lot bigger. And her nose is a lot longer and pointier. As for the limbs, Kyla's are a lot more squishier. As prefer to Samantha's, who's quite sturdy. Stay. Okay. And her hands are a little bit more lenient to move as Samantha's and American Girl dolls are super still. So now I'm going to be undressing them so I can show you guys the body cloths. Okay, so I have Kyla and Penelope here completely undressed, and here's the two. As you can see, Kyla is a lot skinnier than the American Girl doll, and it's really interesting how she doesn't have body cloth up here, while well, American Girl dolls do, and they just show it here. Except what's really good is you can wear, like, t-shirts, which have, like, phoenix and stuff. With AGs, their body cloth immediately shows. And their arms seems to go up and down a lot slower than American Girl dolls who just go up and down really loosely. But maybe it's because she just came out of the box, so she might be a little bit more stiffer than Penelope. And here, her neck just turns from side to side, same as American Girl. And there's two body tags. American Girl's one is on the right side and Journey Girl's one's on the left side and they're both pretty long so they both win that award. If you move Kyla's hair you can see her bold patches except as for American Girl it's kind of harder to find and it's super obvious with Kyla's hair so you have to make sure you put her hair right so none of her bold patches show but I have her hair really crazy and wild just so you can see her better because she has a lot of hair. And Samantha, you can easily tuck back. I didn't really need to tie that up. Anyway, if we look at their hands, Kyla's is a lot longer, her fingers, compared to Samantha. And both of these two fingers are together like Samantha, except hers is a little bit more arched, and hers is just straight. Okay, now I'm going to move down to their feet. 
So if we go down to their feet, you can see Kyla's feet seems a lot longer, except I think they are actually the same size. It's just Samantha's slash Penelope is a lot wider and Kyla's is a lot thinner. And it's really cool because over here, oh no, I can't move her. Let's see if I can twist her foot. I don't know, but she has bones here, just like little lumps to make it look like bones. As for um, Samantha's foot, just is like a plain blob. <laughs> and for the toes, this is just in one line, while this one is more indented, except, yeah, they both have toenails, and that's pretty cool. But what I find really unfortunate here is the clothing. This is kind of like a leg warmer that Kyla came with, and her legs are completely stained horribly like the back here. It's just really, really, really bad. I know, it's horrible. And I'm super upset about that, so I'm going to have to use Oxy 10 on her to try and get rid of that. And hopefully it does. I'll definitely will not be using that on my HE tall, so let's get that straight. Whoop. Okay, so I'm going to get them dressed before they all start falling over. For Kyla, AG items do not fit her. From the top, it's just really loose. By the way, she's wearing the My American Girl Me outfit, if you guys were just wondering. And she can make it like an off-the-shoulder tee. It's really funny. And if we go down to the skirt. The skirt does fit her pretty well, except it's a little bit long, but that's okay. And if we go down to her shoes, she looks like she's wearing her older sister's shoes. They're super big for her because her legs are super skinny, and I don't know if it works too well. So, from all of this, I haven't tried shorts or jeans on her, but from the My American Girl Meet outfit, she does not fit AG doll items. So now we're going to see if Samantha fits Journey Girl items. Penelope wearing the Journey Girl outfit. And as for the t-shirt, she looks super cute in it, except it doesn't fit 100%, but you need to expect that since it is a Journey Girl item and it's not from AG. It goes up to here, so up to here-ish, and it goes up to her waist, the actual shirt, and the shirt pattern is really pretty though. And as for the skirt, it does fit her somewhat well, except it could fit her a bit better, except it does look really cute and you can make it work. So just a disclaimer, as for the t-shirt, it's super stretchy and I made sure I got a super stretchy t-shirt so it would fit the AG doll, but some of the other ones are super tight and small so it might not fit the dolls. That goes with shorts and jeans as well. I have not tried shorts or jeans on the AG dolls, so I don't know if those fit either, so I don't recommend heading out and buying those, presuming that they fit. So just a heads up, don't go out and buy all of the Journey Girl items thinking that they do fit AG dolls because they might not. So as for the shoes here and the leg warmers, I didn't want to put them on in case of the staining. As you saw Kyla's legs, I know it was from this, except I don't want to be sorry for putting these on. And they're just shoes, so probably they would fit. They wouldn't fit, actually. I don't think they would fit because Kyla's feet are super skinny and these fit Kyla's feet and um, Samantha slash Penelope's feet is quite wide so I don't think she would fit the shoes. So now I'm just going to bring the two together to finish off the video. Okay so thank you so much for watching. I really did hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you do have a Journey Girls doll and let me know if you like her and from this video would you buy a Journey Girl doll?